helping to get results after a 15-year-old was shot in the head by a stray bullet on her way home from church. It's been 10 years since a robber opened fire on an Orlando homeowner, but hit Danielle Sampson instead, paralyzing her and really changing her life forever. So all new at 5.30, the tragedy left Danielle's mom just a locked in a battle with Medicaid to get the resources she needs to help her daughter. After a year-long struggle, Alma Fletcher turned to New Six. Investigator Mike Holfeld got involved and got results. This is getting results. Alma Fletcher's smile captures the relief of a mother who realizes someone finally listened. This is the bed. Her quest? This. You don't hear any noise. A working electric hospital bed for her 25-year-old daughter, Danielle Sampson. This part here enables her proper circulation. Critical for a paralyzed young woman who will never speak or walk again. It's amazing. Did you ever imagine, after fighting a year to get a bed? After one year, to get results in, in what, two weeks? Oh my God, that's awesome. The family took this video the day the bed was delivered. Almost becomes like a seat. State-of-the-art equipment for the innocent victim of a stray bullet, fired from the weapon of a burglar on the run. That moment, 10 years ago, July 29th, 2012. She was just 15. It doesn't mean nothing to them. Empathy. No empathy. Her mom was clearly frustrated the first time we visited the family in July. And it, the bed just doesn't move, literally? Correct. Danielle was in a basic single electric bed. It's not working. As Alma Fletcher showed us, nothing was working. See, I'm pressing it. It's not moving. She'd been fighting with Medicaid to get a better upgraded bed for the last year. That's when she asked News 6 for help. Thank you so much for reaching out and just letting us know that Danielle was in this need. News 6 met attorney Dan Newland at Atlantic Aviation International Airport. Newland was instrumental in getting a new home for the family. When we explained Danielle's need for a new bed, he never hesitated. Whatever it is, we want to get the best. The delivery on August 22nd brings this journey to a close. A small comfort for a woman who has unconditional love for her child. I'm, I'm happy for her and I'm happy. I'm just happy. Mrs. Fletcher tells me she wants to establish an organization to help other families in the community. The community getting results together. Mike Holfeld, Getting Results, News 6. So wow. good on Dan Newland Absolutely, for helping out that yes. family. I mean, so many people who were here when that happened remember that case vividly. It was heartbreaking. Yeah. And I'm just thankful that, you know, Dan Newland and, and us were able to help get involved Absolutely. and get results but what, for them. You know, one thing we need to look into, why Medicaid wouldn't cover that in the first place. And uh, sadly, they are certainly not the only They're families battling from, Medicaid. Yeah. Well, the man convicted of shooting Danielle Sampson is now serving a 30-year prison sentence.